Hello, my name is Mary Keane and I come from the parish of Carrigaholt in West Clare. I've had the great privilege of being part of the Killaloo Diocesan Pilgrimage to Lourdes and it is always a special joy to spend time in this holy place with other people from across the diocese. If Lourdes has a heart, it must surely be the grotto of the apparitions. There is something idyllic about this place. Many pilgrims speak of it as being a little bit of heaven here on earth. Each day, thousands of pilgrims file through this cave, tracing their hands along the wall, pausing at the miraculous spring and leaning a little more heavily on the stone beneath the niche where the Blessed Mother Mary appeared. As the train of people sneaks its way through the grotto, you can hear the whispered meditations of the countless heartfelt petitions brought here from the four corners of the world. We all have the envelopes you have given to us with your heartfelt prayers. We will leave them here and add our prayers to yours. Despite the great numbers of people, there is always a sacred sense of silence that pervades this part of the shrine. It is a wholesome place, but it was not always so. The place where Bernadette received her visions was hardly a scenic spot, for below the grotto was a dirty and unkempt area which was often used as a town dump. The beautiful visions experienced by Bernadette were all the more startling because of the filth that lay just below where the lady appeared. From time to time, our lives can be messy and unkempt. We can be blinded to our own goodness and potential by the mess of broken promises or relationships that surround us. The Grotto at Lourdes is a reminder that God and Mary never fail to see the beauty and greatness that is within and around us. Sometimes the clamour of our lives prevents us from hearing the words of reassurance and love that God whispers to us through those around us for whom we are special. If the town dump can become the place where God's mother brings the beauty of her love, and if the sacred silence of God can break into the noise of thousands of pilgrim prayers, then the beauty of God can shine through the brokenness of our own life. Connect with us by creating a sacred silence and stillness in your heart today. Turn off the TV, the radio, the computer, even for a few minutes. Give your heart the silence and space it needs to hear God say how much he loves you.